Hello and welcome to my channel Flame with a 4 in this issue 62 from Build the Terminator T800 we are going to be fitting the kneecap and the knee joint so again not too many pieces in this one uh, but we will crack on and see what's metal what's plastic and find out and then hopefully we get to join it to the model itself because he's been sitting here now for two issues and we haven't put anything on him so let's see what we've got so we've got quite a few screws again so i'm hoping usually when we get screws that means we get to attach stuff so i'm hoping that that is the case so let's have a look let's just pop all these out there right let's go through our parts list so 62-1 again plastic uh knee joint uh then we have 62-2 which is the outer right kneecap which is just this little weird piece here which looks like the top of a car uh, it's 62-3 which is the inner right kneecap again which is just this inner piece here it looks like that and then we have 62-4 um, which is a joint center which is this weird looking black piece so it has a grid thing in it uh, six millimeter screws um, which are going to be for these smaller ones and then there are allen key head ones again um, and they are 62-6 um, and there's a 12 millimeter allen screw one so there we go right first of all we get to glue 62-1 62-4 into 62-1 so you've seen this from previous uh, issues guys we know how to do this now we just have to pop a little bit of super glue in the top of there into those grid holes just like so again i am running out of super glue i need to get some more and then that just goes in there and lines up lovely so there you go so that is what it wants us to do on the first stage we just glue that into the top of this piece like so all right so now it's asking us again we've got to glue more things together so we've got to glue 62-2 to 62-3 so we need to glue this so this i mean that's not a lot is it Okay, I um, shouldn't have probably put it in there because now I can't get it out. <laughs> um, there you go. So what it's asking us to do here is asking us to put some glue on the inside of this, which we can do. So we just need to put some glue on the inside of that. Let's go fill that up. And then some glue on the inside of that one. And then it's asking us to push this over onto this. So then that 62-2 onto 62-3, just so that looks like that. And then that's what it looks like from the back there. So this is probably the little knee joint that we've now assembled together. So we'll wait for that to dry off a minute and then we'll continue. Looks like we're not going to get time to wait for it to dry because we need to go get the piece from issue 61, which is this funny looking um, Star Wars piece. Uh, and then we need to attach 62-2 onto the side of that again using super glue. So let's test fit it first. So it looks like we're just going to have it round this way like so. And then that's just going to click into there like that. So that just goes on the side so it looks like this. Um, we won't push that in there really hard yet because we're going to have to put the super glue in. So let's go do that. So let's pop a bit of super glue in that hole there. And then we're going to pop some super glue in that hole there. And then a tiny bit in that little recess at the top there to keep that in place. So now we will be able to push that into there. And then push all this in well so that it holds in. And then that should look nice and flush like that. So that's apparently the knee joint. So we will need to wait for this to dry off. You want to just be careful, let that dry off before you go too ahead of yourselves, uh, just so that um, you don't mess anything up. Right, so the next thing it's asking us to do is attach 62-1 to 61-1. Um, and you can kind of see where this is going to go because the flat piece here is going to go on there like that. So you want to do it um, so that this piece is facing on the outside because you want to make sure that that bit is on the outside. So that will just go into there like so. So let's just push that into place. So I'm hoping that will line up nice and easy. So that just goes into there. We will pop three screws into that bit. I'm hoping it's not going to take too long. We're going to do that now. And they're going to be the smaller screws that go into there. So make sure you just pop those three smaller screws in. Uh, we will fast forward through this, guys. So bear with me while I do that. 
So there you have it. So we have now just put those three screws in. So they're the three of the smaller screws that come in the kit. So you've got the three screws there, one, two, and three. Don't do it up too tight. And then that is now all pieced together, lovely. So there you go. We will get to attach this to the model now. So we're gonna get to go do that. So we're just gonna pop these screws over here out the way just for one moment. And then we're just gonna have a look to see what it's asking us to do here. So step 10 says, take the model assembly from issue 60 and lay it face downwards. God, he does not like me facing downwards. Um, position the parts from the previous step so that the head of the part 61 fits between the sides of the right thigh part 55. Note that the orientation of the part 61 with the tendon 61-2 uppermost in the orientation as fits the head of the part 61-1 between the sides of right let's just copy the picture we are not going to keep reading that it's ridiculous right anyway so let's just do this is put him round on his front he's got you gotta go on your front again so we can hopefully see what we're doing so i'm gonna lay him there like that we're working on this so we we'll twist that around so we can see what's going on uh it's asking this to go around that way. So that needs to go like that. And then that needs to go into that piston here. So you need to pop that into there, like that. And then that should then lay in that hole. Like that. And then I think, I'm not too sure, it should just sit in nicely. We, we need the magazine. Just turn that, it's so selfish sometimes. Okay, let's have a look. Let's face plant it down. Okay, so this is where these two pieces get to come into play. So you need to now go take, so once that's in position and you're happy with that, you need to go take um, from issue 60, 60-1, 60 which is the one that's got that little um, recess there cut out. And then you need to take, um, so yeah, 60-1 and then 59-1, which is the other one, which has got this little sort of teardrop look to it. It fits on that side. So you just need to piece them together. So let's go do that. So I can't even get around there. So there's no room. So I'm just gonna put that through that hole there and then slot that into place. So let's lift him up. There you go. So that goes like that. And then now this piece here, We'll just go into there like so. That fits together so lovely. And when you need to put a screw in there, or we say a screw, an Allen key um, section goes into there. What we will do is we will go grab the Allen key again from the screwdriver because we're going to do that. It does come with, this model does come with the screwdriver uh, or the uh, Allen key piece where, I don't know where I put it, but uh, it does come with it. So just in case you was wondering whether it did come with it or not, it does. That will go in this side here. We'll just screw that all up into place um, nicely. Again, you don't want to do it up too tight because you want to make sure that this moves, which it does, I think. So let's have a look. I'm not sure how much play is meant to be in there. This foot moves up and down. I don't know how much more we are going to attach to this for that to move. Um, it says fit the sides of the joint into the sides of part 55-1 and fit the Allen key screw into the center of the part. Use the Allen key to tighten the Allen screw. Stage complete, the knee joint has been fitted to the lower end of the thigh. This is the view of the right hand side of the right knee with the model lying face upwards. Okay, so we'll turn them around and then you'll be able to see where we've done that screw up. I wanna just loosen that just to see whether that's meant to have any play in the joint. So yeah, don't do that up too tight. Make sure that you've got movement in there. So just don't do it up too tight. Let's turn them around. Come on. And then I'll hopefully be able to show you where we are. So the the tear dot with part is the, or the teardrop bit is on this side and then the screw just goes into there and that all fits into place. This now moves up and down like that, which is perfect. And then the whole leg mechanism just moves on these gases so look at that that's absolutely amazing <laughs> it's so cool i just i like all giddy because it's just so good how it works so that'll move 
And then I guess in that, there's not much more going to go on here for before we put the foot on. Um, so there'll probably just be like another extension and then the foot. So that would be really cool. Um, but just how all these pistons are coming together, they're just so cool. They don't even need any lubrication. They just work really well. So really, really loving that. That looks fantastic. Look at that. And that moves there up and down. I don't know how much orientation is meant to be in that. Maybe that could probably do with being tightened a little bit more, but that is meant to move. So I really, really do love it. Let's just see if we can just tighten up a little bit more. That's better. Good thing is you can get to all these. So if you do need to tighten them up at a late stage, you can. Put this up out of the way. What are you doing with this up the way? Right, what are we doing? Are you, are you putting your arm back? There we go. Right, stay there. Okay, so we have, um, this is the stage complete at the moment. We don't we don't get to do any more right now. This is this is it for this section. So we are gonna just read for the magazine, see what's coming up in issue 63. So we're getting through this. I think we're halfway through this model now, guys. So it's absolutely fantastic. We will do a recap on this and talk about stuff, about problems that we've probably had um, and things that could be improved. Um, but at the moment, obviously, we've done the finger fix, so that's really good. Um, Ghost in the Shell, I don't even really know what this is. Looks like some sort of anime thing. Uh, let's go through this. Um, Ghosts and the Human Brain. So there's really good information in here. And then the next one, we get to start work on the lower right leg. So we still have this lower right leg to build. So can't wait to do that with you guys. Please join me again for issue 63 when we're going to be building the lower right leg. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.